Fight Club is brought to you by Modelo. Oh. 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 I love MMA. You're here, so you love MMA. This is the Kobe Show. This is the Kobe Show MMA. This is my first ever podcast style show. Second, third, fourth, third, second to come to fruition. And we're gonna get straight into it. I love MMA. I wanna discuss all things MMA. I wanna have guests, I wanna have friends, I wanna have random people join the show and have a damn good time because I'm definitely gonna be behind this camera. We have many topics to talk about. Today we're gonna start with the most interesting one to me. This whole James Crow situation. Holy shit. So this is all started with the Derek Minner fight. And Derek Minner is one of his his fighters. He's the coach to a lot of glory MMA fighters. We got Brandon Moreno, David Onama, many fighters just like those two. And Derek Minner got ran through. It was odd. He was a fucking betting favorite. His opponent was a plus 350 underdog or something like that. Two win by KO, which is like, all right, he must have bet the fucking house on that because you know what happened. He fucking lost. Derek Minner got smoked. James Charles probably went home with him. Half a million fucking dollars, him and all of his people. Woo! And UFC is investigating it. UFC, the one of the heads of UFC, um, was it Hunter Kim? No, I, I don't have my sources right. I'm not a reporter. But one of the OGs that, you know, at the top with Dana White discussed it and brought up that he's been, he's, he's done from UFC. They've done their research, they did their goods, and that man is trouble. And if you're messing with him, you're trouble. So that's how they're rolling with it and you know i don't see any problem with it if you're obviously up and open gambling and he has the channel the one percent podcast he has the discord and he's giving picks he's sharing picks doing this that 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 that's pretty pretty guilty and it's it's very tough because he loses his career he loses his his earnings his money his job sucks for him but choose get cheated in life and that's what we saw up next, I want to discuss the amazing ceremonial weigh-ins today. Holy hell, I had shivers in my bones, in my body. I was like, yo, my boy Matt Schnell. No, no, no. He, was, he missed weight initially, and, you know, he, he went 0.66 pounds over the limit. Guess what? My guy came in and said, not going to happen. I fucking love this. When I was watching this, I was like, damn, poor guy. But he made the ultimate clutch save. He was like, wait, what? He pulled the Oliveira, like, what? I ain't big weight? It's fucking amazing. I love it. Psych! Got him! Yeah, and then look at this man. He turned into a whole different human being. Ripping off his head hair. <laughs> oh my god. The chest hair came off too. The, the iconic look. Gone. And he made the weight. He saved the bag. And he's quite an icon now. Fucking awesome. I love Matt Chanel, for real. That was awesome. We can't wait to see him fight. He's fighting tomorrow in front of a crowd. Holy hell, it's gonna be good. You already know when Danger's in the building, it gets good. So I'm excited for that fight. I have a great pick for that fight. And I'm gonna share those at the end of the show. Let's move on to the next thing. Still coming up, we have fan questions. I asked on the channel posts. So if you guys aren't paying attention, start paying attention to that. Uh, questions for each, each show. I do plan on doing these three times a week. I want it before the fight day. I want one day after fights, Sundays. And then I want to do one Monday or Tuesday, you know, while the week is ramping up and we're getting into the fight hype and stuff. But next we have the amazing fight that I really want to talk about. I fucking love. Oh shit, the costume is there. Ignore that. But listen, Kevin Holland finally has his time to shine, and I love Kevin Holland. I'm, I'm the hugest fan of him. He is my number one fighter. And I'm excited to see him fight. Let's be real here. This is where he has to show he's that guy. He's him. We need to see that. We will see it. I, 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 I know for a fact he's going to come in. He's going to put on a show. He's going to kick some fucking ass. Look at this man. Look at this man. He's a beast. He's a dog. What I think is he's going to put on a show with one of the Win or lose or draw is going to be great. He's going to showcase his talents. I think he's going to do some wrestling. I hope they do some wrestling, just with the Adesanya Pereira fight. So fucking awesome because we got to see the elite striking of the great kickboxers. And we got to see, you know, Izzy Giff do that takedown that he, I know he's always wanted it. And got it. But I think that this fight is going to be great. Finally, Kevin's time to shine is the headline. He, he He's going to be the man that we all know he is. 
No wrestlers, no problem. Let's go, Trailblazer. Show me not just Big Mo. Let's jump on to some of these questions. I, I love the fan question portion, honestly. We're speeding through this because I got to get flow. You know, I got to get the flow going. I got to get lucid, you know? But I got some fun questions. Uh, JR6 asked, a loyal subscriber asked, who do you think is doing tough next? Fucking amazing question, to be honest. If I had to seriously think, so we have Amanda Nunes and Valentina in the win right now. We don't know what they're doing. I think they're going to be our next tough if, they, if they're going to fight. But there's also conflicting with that because if that fight was to be made, it was probably going to be the main event for the Brazil card in January. So I don't know. But um, we know Cejudo and Aljo is fighting in March. So the fights that we haven't seen up until that point are probably going to be the ones that... So if we're thinking what picture gets separated by then, we already know the heavyweight t title thing is going to be done so by, by then. And that j films around June, April, and May. So I'm, I'm going with them too. I'm thinking they both sit out for a long time. They get their fight down. It'll be Amanda Nunes, Valentina Shevchenko, coaching tough. And if not them, uh, Amanda Nunes twice, actually. Now I'm rethinking it. Who's going to do tough? I don't think it's them too. I think it's going to be, I think Kobe's comeback, he's going to be on tough. I think it's gonna be the Kobe comeback. I think they're gonna to wanna to do huge numbers. The last one, the last one before that, the return of Tough. I think Kobe is gonna to, gonna to coach Tough up next. I think it's 100% gonna be Kobe or Tony Ferguson. Ooh, now I'm thinking they can do a super fight at 170. That would be freaking amazing. I'm going with Kobe Covington on the next Tough. I, I genuinely believe he's gonna he's gonna coach Tough next, and I'm hoping because that's gonna be the most fun Tough season of all time. Let's go to the next question. We have. Usurpers, Tom Usurp asked, uh, you think Patty's gonna KO Jared or sub him? <laughs> Patty the Baddie. Patty the Baddie is fighting Jared Gordon at UFC next week. And I think he's gonna I think he's gonna kick his ass. I think Patty the Baddie's gonna murk him. They're co-main event, which is the crazy thing. Co-main event for a dude on his fourth fight who's not Alex Pereira who's not Hamza Chimai. <laughs> nah, nah, it's very deserving. He's one of the huge, he's the hugest star in the lightweight division, I'd say, behind, obviously, the, the former champ and champ right now. So, yeah, it makes sense. And I think Patty's gonna finish Jared Gordon. His story is going to be perfect until, until a huge moment. I 100% believe that the wave behind him, Connor-esque, we all know this. The wave behind him is, is Hamza Chimai. The wave behind him is... Sugar Sean O'Malley on crack. Let's be real. Like Dana said in one of the press conferences about Sean O'Malley and Patty. Like, yeah, you can have your country behind you. That's it's World Cup. Like, it, it, it's your your people are there to support you, whether they're fans of the sport or not. But for somebody like Sugar Sean O'Malley, uh, an American, you know, U.S. don't get behind their people like that. We're not following you to the edges of the earth and supporting you because you're our own. But it's like that for Patty because you know it's like that out there. And yeah, regardless, I think his story is too good to be true. I think he wipes the floor with Gordon and we see a tough opponent after that. Hopefully it's Terrence and Kenny, that fight is so good. We'll never see the Ilya Taporia fight. I don't believe so. I don't think we're seeing that. It's too, it's too, it's too tense and it, it has to be big. So I don't think we'll get to that, but Jared, Jared gets taken out. I think he gets KO, TKO, ground and pound. Done deal. Sorry. Sorry, bro. Love Jared Gordon, too. He was on MMA Hour, and that was a damn good little talk. You know what I'm saying? I want to get to my picks. I have some picks, and I want to, I want you guys to listen. This is the first ever The Kobe Show. Part plain and simple. I got three picks. Wonder Boy. Big Mouth. Over one and a half. <laughs> no, no, it's a five-round fight. Over two and a half. That's one, one, one pick on this parlay. I gotta go with another one. This is important. I'm never missing these parlays. There's three picks on this parlay. It's the personal Kobe parlay. I'm bringing, yeah. All right, so that's one. I'm going Max Schnell. This fight does not go the distance. 100% that fight does not go the distance. And I'm doing another one. Tied to Avasa, Sergey Pavlovich. Does not go to the distance. The first ever Kobe show MMA parlay. I still haven't decided on a name for the show. I will one day. 
But we're rocking, we're rolling, we're going straight through it. Those are my picks. And I could run down the entire card. We definitely could. I think we should. I think we should. Really quickly, let's get through this entire card. I got... I gotta roll with the punches here. Let's switch the camera. Let's get to the middle side camera. So we're gonna go through these picks. I, I wanna pick the entire fight. Let's let's see. Uh, all right. So right here we got prelims. Let's start down low with the beautiful, beautiful ladies. Oh, they they canceled that fight. Pretty tough. Okay. So we got Yasmin Uruguay and Estela Nunes. Off the top of my head, I'm going Estela Nunes because that name is awesome. I think she gets the upset. She's likely an underdog because Yasmin Uruguay is a Beast out of Mexico with a 9 0 record. I'm going Marcio, Marcelo Rojo versus Francis Marshall. Sorry, America. I'm going my boy Marcio. Marcelo. All right, I think Gennaro Valdez, TKO's Natan Levy. I don't know why. I'm going with it, though. Darren Elkins versus JSP. JSP by submission. I'm sorry. Darren is a crafty vet. He's a beast and he knows war. Let's be real. Michael Johnson versus March Casey. Michael Johnson, hands down. I think he's gonna, I think he's gonna etch out a decision. His last one was close. If this one's close, which I think it will be, he's gonna get it this time. Scott Holtzman came with his kid uh, at the ceremonial weigh-ins. It was, it was so beautiful to see. You fucking, you love it. You, you know you love it, it's awesome. I think Clay Guida gets it done by sub. I'm going Clay Guida. Angela Hill. Oh, I'm taking Angela over Kill Hill. Let's go, baby. She performs amazing in front of crowds. All of her fights are razor thin, and she gets to nod here. I'm going Nico Price. Eric Anders. Jack Hermanson. I'm going Jack Hermanson for the home record. I'm, gonna, I'm going TKO. He's going to KO that home record. <laughs> we'll get to that story next time. Taito Avasa over Sergey Pavlovich. Mateus Nikolaou. I'm going Matt Schnell by finish. Duh, come on now. I'm going Bam Bam Brian, the underdog. Get that money lock in. I know he's getting this done. Size. Let's go. And I'm going Trailblazer Kevin Holland for my final prediction. Don't at me. Don't question me. I'll get all of these right. You'll see. Ladies and gentlemen, this is episode one of the Kobe Show MMA. Whatever, I don't have a name yet. I love MMA. If you're here, you love MMA. Like, comment, subscribe, or don't. Go to the Instagram, follow, or don't. Check out the Twitter, or don't. Watch some other videos, or don't. Honestly, I want you to, but you're not forced to. Leave some questions below for the next iteration of this, and we're going to react live to the show, and it's going to be so fun. Be here, or be somewhere else eating good, sleeping good, or living good. All is important. Have a good day. Kobe out. Join the Kobe Show MMA.